Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Games Cast, episode 370. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sinidi. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello. What's up, guys? Hello, welcome. guys. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Clarice. Hello, Governor. Uh, welcome, listeners and viewers, to episode 370. Uh, the games cast. We just did the movie cast, so tune into that. We've got some fun discussions on that one about Justice League and Star Wars. Predictions. And predictions Big predictions and, yeah. for Justice League. Um, but this is the games cast, so let's let's get the gaming news and talk about the craziness that occurred this week. There's a lot of news to talk about. Uh, I just want to get right into it. Get into what we've been up to as well, because I'll kind of merge what I've been up to into the the talk. Um, let's do, <laughs> let's start with the basic news first, then we'll get into EA, which is the headline. Um, but GameStop has paused its unlimited rental service for reasons we're nah. not sure of yet. Um, I <laughs> it's think, just not working for them. Yeah, I think it's not working. They said they're program limitations, but I read this like, I don't think this is coming back in the same form. Supposedly they're saying that it was because their systems, no, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean they like the company, but supposedly managers you know, and stuff on Reddit have stated that it's because they're Infrastructure, like their computer systems yeah, the and POS, whatnot. The POS. Yeah, the POS can't really handle the traffic that they're trying to do and stuff like that, which kind of makes sense because I remember literally every single time a Nintendo thing has come out in the past couple of years, it's crashed. Like, I remember when the NES Amiibo went up because it was GameStop exclusive. Fucking, it was down. Like, they crashed the POS. People were, like, handwriting orders and stuff like that. Well, For the uninitiated, thing, that's uh, the point Super of sale. Super Nintendo not Classic just shit. recently yep. cr- crashed their system. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I know their POS system from myself. I know it. Um, I, I don't know how much has changed since '04. I'm guessing it's been upgraded, but uh, I've seen the, the the screens, and it doesn't look that different from '04, to be honest with you. Um, from when I worked at, you know, at EB Games, um, but uh, I can't imagine that system was set up like a blockbuster rental. So like, you're asking a lot to put that in there. Um, so it could just be that. Uh, they haven't said any details on when it's coming back. I thought it didn't launch till next year. Like I thought it was just signups that were it coming was launching, out. It was launching next week. Um, they had a preview going on for people that signed up early. They actually refunded that money and gave the people that signed up early the used game that they had and said, just keep it, and there's your money mm-hmm. back. So they did it nicely. I mean, it's not like they're, you know, screwed people out of their stuff uh, or, you know, tacked on crazy money hat loot boxes or anything like that uh, onto their, um, sur- you know, service. So... Their games as a service. Um, see, like really. what I did there? Like what I did there? Um, you have to explain it, Jim. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's go into Injustice news and talk about the fun stuff that is the Ninja Turtles in the DLC pack coming out for Injustice 2. The trailer was a good trailer, though. It was a good trailer. Yeah. I'm really excited Especially about it. Especially if you didn't know they were coming. Yeah. Yes. But, and I hate these people, but there are a lot of salty DC fanboys about this for a couple of reasons. Number one, everyone is pissed off about guest characters in general. They're like, oh, there's all these DC characters that could go in. But at this point, if you're a DC character and you're not in the game, you kind of suck. Let's be honest. There's a lot of characters in this game. People were looking for Beast Boy. People were looking for... Um, I don't even remember the other DC characters, but Beast Boy is the big one. Are all the Teen Titans in it, except for Beast Boy? A lot of them are mm. at this point. Um... But the biggest guest character that everyone voted on, which is what everyone thought was going to be this third character in the DLC pack three, was Spawn. And everyone expected Spawn. Everyone was thinking Spawn's coming. And they got the Ninja Turtles. And this pissed off everyone. They're like, oh, they voted for I, him. Dude, there was like a tournament or some tournament or something going on where they did a like live reaction and they showed yeah, like awesome. yeah, like, I don't people know. were cheering yeah. like crazy. Like, yeah, I don't know, know where they where did cool you review. where did you see this this negative press? I oh, didn't see any of it's it. It's all over every all the yes, main we're streamers. We're not looking on the all the main streamers who um, justice streamers. You know, and justice streamers have their fan base and even themselves. Some of them themselves were pretty negative on the turtles. Um, but here's the thing: Spawn is obvious. The turtles aren't either, obviously. But Spawn is not a DC property. Maybe they couldn't get him. I mean, but the, people are real mad. It's not Spawn, but Screw them. them. This is... I, I, I think it's really awesome. I, 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 I think that. it's awesome. Obviously, um, 
this is a bigger fan base than Spawn or anyone else that could have been that they'll bring in here. I'm revying. Uh, I'm revying. It, and flip, it's just I'll it's revive. crazy. This the strange thing is this is the third character slot for like a three pack. So all four turtles and even in the trailer, like they say, oh, we fight as a team. They might be one character. I'm not sure how they're going I'm to work. Sure it. that's how it's, it's going to be work. one character. It's going to so be because Ed Boon's already come out and said they have one character with unique moves and then they're supporting characters. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. And also you think in an injustice, how the gear will work. Do you individualize for each turtle or will they all sort of have changing colors? So there's a lot going on here and a lot that mm-hmm. needs to be answered, but it's. Definitely unexpected, and uh, me personally, I'm very. Well, you want to mention that also Adam and Enchantress were <laughs> yeah, screw other that. characters. About them. We, everyone knew about Adam already, and Enchantress was pretty given to Enchantress, whatever you know. Like, Suicide I, Squad. I, I, think, I think it was Saturday night. I was like watching a, a Twitch stream of something else, and I saw like an ad or not an ad, but somewhere was like, "Oh, like this is being revealed," and I was like, "All right, whatever. Like I'll I'll watch it, whatever." Um, and I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, this isn't even a, an exciting trailer because it just opens up with like some generic warehouse explosion, and mm-hmm. somehow the girl that is the enchantress was just walking by, and then because of the explosion, she turns into enchantress, and then Adam just looks at her and they start fighting. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. Like, I'll buy into this. Sure, whatever. It's and a funny then, game story. Come on. Yeah, and then like you just see like the side drop, and I was like, is there a Mortal Kombat character with a side? And there then is. you just it's see the Melina. Tra- yeah, and Melina, and that was apparently the whole thing is Ed Boon was trolling the fuck out of everyone, which is great because they think it's another Mortal Kombat guest character with Melina with that, and then you see the trench coat and the Watchmen characters they all were also wanted, so you think it's like Rorschach or someone like that for a second too. So, nope, it's Raphael. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was an awesome reveal, and um, yeah, I, I really like the aesthetic they use because it harkens back to the '90s mo- the first '90s movie with it's... the turtles. And I think I it's like the only one that's really more Eastman style art yeah. too. Yeah. The, actually, yeah. what the way they come out at the end with the last screenshot, they're wearing slightly different things than what they did when they originally uh, jumped out into action in the mm-hmm. thing. So I again, kinda with the, wish they were with all the gear system, myself. I'm, I'm sure, sure that's going to be that. that. I'm with sure the gear that's system, gonna be you're going to get all of that. That's the yeah. thing about this. That's crazy with injustice. So. I'm excited about it, but uh, yeah. there are some people who are real upset, and for them, they don't like fun or happiness. <laughs> <laughs> They're angry, bitter people. For no, I, I mean, that's that's, that's going to happen. I mean, even when Smash Brothers, like, there's always a new, like, you know, it's like Cloud got announced, and then all the people are like, oh, why is it Cloud? Final Fantasy VII's never been on a Nintendo system. This, that, the other thing. It's like, yeah, but he's, like, the most iconic Final Fantasy character, so yeah. live with it. I mean, just... No, I think you can't they, please everybody. You cannot. Please and at everybody. least the turtles are comic book characters. I mean, that's the yes. other thing. It's like, and they're well, comic characters. They have I'm a little crossovers upset with, with like, like Batman. I'd going be okay after. if it was Scorpion and Sub Zero, and that was it. Like, yeah. I don't need Raiden in this. Yeah, like, no. Give me, I, mean, like, I, I could understand getting mad at all of the Mortal Kombat guest characters in there because they have like three. Now. Yeah, well, yeah, because they have Raiden, Scorpio, Scorpion, and more and Sub Zero. They don't have, they don't have Scorpion. Scorpion in this one. Oh, really. Oh, well, they have Sub-Zero. The Sub-Zero and Raiden, I think, is it, but oh. still. Yeah. I thought they had Scorpion. I guess I'm thinking of the last the one. first Injustice had Scorpion. But uh, I don't need Mortal Kombat characters in this game because it's a DC game. I like I would like comic book characters. So. Mm-hmm. Well, it's yeah. just interesting, too, because Turtles, when it came out, was kind of like emulating like Daredevil, which is a Marvel property, but they're in a DC game. It's just fun like, to think about. Kind of like I said, like the oh, the... The character that would make me like lose my shit more that that would get in this game would be like Wolverine, but that's not happening. Yeah, but it'd be crazy. This is funny because like I watched it and I was like, oh shit! I was like, that's pretty cool. And I was like, gotta post this in uh, <laughs> uh, our Discord. And I, I added you, Mike. I was like at, and I was like, look, I was like, watch this. And it's like the fucking preview image literally just spoiled it. I was like, fuck. I was like, yeah, I know. Because I didn't want to spoil it. I don't want to be like that ass. I was yeah. just like, but I was like, and you're like, what? And I was like, just go watch the trailer. Like you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good reveal. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a good. It was. Oh, it's I mean, good uh, in there. I like you don't that. get you, when everything gets leaked or rumored for so much now with the yeah. internet. Like it's crazy to actually be surprised by a trailer. Yeah, and exactly. like this was a huge surprise. So and now you can get Batman versus the Turtles, just yeah. like your comic book. And it's funny because apparently some dude on Reddit actually did leak this like two weeks prior or whatever. But of course nobody will believe it because it's fucking no, Reddit and ridiculous. Like, 
Right. He's just like, no, hey, okay, sure. Tur- Turtles and, and Injustice 2, sure. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Did he, didn't he just come out with, like, new predictions suddenly? Yeah, I, he came out with so many different rumors, though, it's really hard to sort through them because the thing is none of them are really outrageously um, outside the realm of possibility. It, it just seems more like a collection of rumors that oh. you've seen other places. So I'm not outright discrediting it, but at the same time, it just seems like some guy it covers um, them. leaked yeah. like all the May stuff that was coming in Orisa on 4chan, <laughs> and everybody just like, yeah, you're not right, you're wrong. Like no, nobody believed him because they done 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> but right. then everything he said came true, like six months later. <laughs> yeah. nope. All right, uh, Nintendo has announced they're going to... We didn't talk about this last week. It came out, I think, right after the podcast. Uh, the Switch production will increase by astronomical amounts by t- for 2018. They're aiming for, like, 25 million consoles for the, for the year, right? Something like that. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> amount. Total or, like, um, be, like, in 2018? In 2018... They're going to produce. Million. Yeah. Okay. 20 to 30 million them. was their number. Yeah. I think we did talk about this last week because I mentioned about reducing the amount and then just adding it on later. Maybe mm-hmm. we didn't. I don't know. I remember talking about it. Though. Maybe it was in like, Discord. Maybe it's probably it was. But like, yeah. I, mean, I think it's just because they're manufacturing that many in uh, a year doesn't mean they're going to ship all those in that same quarter. Or sell through. Right. Or sell through. But I mean, that's that's still pretty ridiculous. I mean, that's peak DS levels. I don't even think yeah. we hit that. Mm-hmm. Well, they figured out how to do it, I guess. Yeah, it is crazy. I meant to actually post a a picture to our Discord, but um, let me bring it up real quick. See if you guys can see it. But uh, I went to uh, Best Buy to um, pick up my uh, Zelda Amiibo because this came out, the Champions. And, you know, I don't know how your guys' store is, but but the store pickup at my King of Prussia store, they have um, like a graded like metal thing where like for new sliding, video game release and stuff yeah yeah door. sliding door yeah, yeah yeah uh but they keep a lot of like hot electronic items and stuff like there um but when i went to pick it up i just looked to my left and like you just see this <laughs> entire sea <laughs> of, of nintendo switches and i'm just like jesus christ <laughs> yep. like yep next week's black friday so uh, i guess you guys are stocking up but mm-hmm. all right we shall see all right. Yeah, uh, this also, one guy at Best Buy says they they don't even put the Nintendo the Super Nintendo Classics out. They just because they just know that they're gonna get picked up right away. So they just oh, really? to ask them. They're like, yep, here we have it. See oh shit! I should have asked while I was there. Fuck. Oh wow! I've been looking for them on the shelves. They they, they, they just, yeah they just just ask somebody because they probably have, they have them. So. Okay. Well, not probably. I can't <laughs> probably. say that. <laughs> they yeah. probably are already out of them by the time yeah. they ask because they don't they don't even have the opportunity for the, for the record. Don't have, they don't have the chance to put them out because they, they get asked before they can even get them on the well, shelf. Yeah, so, see, hmm. that's the thing. Like, I would like to see this on the shelves. Like, for the record, like, I own one, this unicorn. So I know it exists, but I have yet to see it in the store. Ever. Hmm. Any Nintendo NES Classic or SNES Classic, I have never seen in the store. Yeah. Best bet is probably to be on Black Friday if you go Black Friday shopping. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be out there on Black Friday. That's the problem. I think I'm going to stay in. I'm just going to order my stuff. There's so many things online now you can get. I'm like, I'm not even going to go out. I'm just going to get... Yeah. Like, I'm hitting all it's those... There's I mean, I do more, enjoy more the spectacle of it, though. Like that, I do, that's but still, it's like pretty fun. I just don't know if I can do it either with my kids and stuff now. Yeah, I'm, I'm got, you know, I'm, I'm leaving at like five thirty in the morning the next morning. Uh, actually, I'm leaving. I'm sorry, I'm leaving Black Friday. I'm leaving Black Friday oh. morning actually. So I was gonna go what out you... Thanksgiving, oh. uh, but I am going to. I'm leaving at five thirty in the morning to go to Vermont. So I'm, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, other news last week. EA. Why is Respawn? Not the news you're thinking. Uh, they bought Respawn last week. You didn't hear about that. So they're acquiring <clears throat> studios. Uh, I found the, the timeline for this just kind of funny because apparently somebody offered to buy Respawn uh, a month before. Uh, they have to notify EA because they're a partner. EA then closes down Visceral and immediately buys Respawn. Yeah. It was a shady timing at best. And th- the thing is, now we we really do start to get into like crazy conspiracy theories where now people were speculating that, you know, because I mean, I remember talking about this last year, this time, where it's like you had fucking, what was it, a uh, Call of Duty and was it Battlefield 1? Whatever came out last year. It's like, you're going to release Titanfall 2 in between both of those games. Like, what are you doing? Um, so the conspiracy theory is that 
EA kind of like forced it to tank yeah, by like releasing it in that period just to like devalue that company. So they yes, could so. purchase them at a discount price. Right, exactly. To now, further, I'm not saying that's true, but at the same time, I I could see that. I, I'm not discrediting or discounting that. I, I, I truly possibly. believe that Visceral Games became a, a slashed cost to purchase $455 million of you know, Respawn. Or whatever yeah. that deal turned out to be. I think it was four fifty five. dollars um, Well, really the other conspiracy... Turn into that. Well, the conspiracy theory behind that, too, is that... Um, Visceral, because they were located in um, California. I forget if it's L.A. or San Francisco or, you know, all, this, all the fucking California cities. Like Silicon so Valley. Yeah, Silicon Valley. But the conspiracy theory there is that EA had, has been trying to, like, pretty much shut that studio down because they don't want that because it's the most expensive place that you can develop video games these days. They were, like, pretty much trying to eliminate it. So they're just like, oh, yeah, your guy's game wasn't looking too hot. So mm. going to shut down. Uh, again, not saying it's true, but at the same time, I smoke. can see it fucking happening. So, right, exactly. I can see it happening. Just just real quick about Respawn. I remember when Vince Zampella, Zampella, what is his name? He was, like, so happy about breaking away from the Call of Duty franchise to have his own studio. I remember yep. him posting on Twitter nonstop about this and how great Titanfall is and loving the whole thing. And now Out of the frying pan, into the fire, man. Yeah. It happened with like, Bungie. That's it what, happened with Bungie. Right, exactly. That's, what, that's exactly what I'm about to say because you have these developers like that get tied to one franchise and it's like, we, we just want to stop, guys. We want to stop. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got this new we got this new deal with this other company. He's like, yeah, but you're just, you're just doing the fucking same thing with a different well, name. But what's the difference, I guess, here? I, I don't know. Like, I, What's the deal with uh, this purchase? Does Respawn get to maintain like ownership of anything, or are they no. just are fully being owned? Apparently, Respawn oh, is still Respawn, uh, and they're still making Titanfall 3 and their own properties that they want to make. Uh, but EA, they, but EA just, owns everything. Yeah, yeah, EA just now owns them and helps them fund more things. Yeah. For now, we'll see. I've, I swear I heard this about, let's see, Westwood... Uh, I mean, I'm trying. You can go through it. Bioware. Bioware. Uh, I re- like. I mean, you just EA has closed. Well, so Bioware is not closed, at least. Mm, not yet. Not yet. See how Anthem does. Same. They're still there, at least. Yeah. Which moves us into the biggest news of the week. Back to EA again. Um, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Completely fine. Nothing. He- nothing to see there, right? No. Completely fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything, Everything is fine. Not is that the means droids sense. you were looking for, Jim. Yeah. Uh, I love the OT of the uh, um, on reset on reset era. The uh, what was the OT uh, caption? This deal was, keeps uh, getting worse. <laughs> yeah, this deal keeps getting worse. Um, I just I I love that headline after hearing about this. So so apparently review copies went out to um, this is the big problem I have. Review copies went out to the you know editors reviewers but you know everywhere game former IGN press everybody had them uh, and then media media had them to review the copies uh, mm. at a certain value of their in-game loot boxes that they're talking about. Like, you can buy loot boxes, you can buy heroes in this game um, to unlock them to playable, to have playable in the game. And those rates then, after they had them, those review copies were done, got jacked by from $10,000 for, like, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader to $60,000 for the, the regular audience to do. Um, now, a quick question. Was that, uh, in, like, was that informed no. to the media no, outlets? it was not. No. Okay. That's the biggest problem I have with the situation. It, it was never told to them. Uh, so I w- if, I w- if I was like reviewing this game, I would be offended massively for this. And in fact, that would be a mark down. Mass affected? Story. I would be really? massively affected. Um, <laughs> but I, I think that uh, like, I think that's so misleading and shitty to start. That's just a shitty way to start things. Uh, mm-hmm. and, then, and then you have the PR guy uh, for EA just like... I mean, talking shit to the fans of Star Wars Battlefront on Twitter, his responses were... And he's like... And his response to his his tweet, which got deleted, I can't even link it, to re-quote it. Uh, He deleted that tweet saying, I was not talking about the Star Wars game that all you're thinking of. I was referring to something else. Really? I mean, that's... All the questions on his timeline were about Star Wars. Uh, Because the early access came out, and people got to experience what was in that. Mm. So, but anyways, go on. But, and then, yeah, the Reddit post... Uh, so then, mm-hmm. yeah, then EA then 
Oh, can we look up that Reddit post and let me pull that up yeah. and read it? Uh, so then EA decides to respond uh, to the negative, to the questions about uh, unlocking characters uh, and how much it costs and how much time sync it is. Because by the way, if you do the math, it takes about 40 hours after the challenges are done to unlock one of these heroes, the major heroes like Darth Vader and, and Luke Skywalker. It uh, used to take 40 hours. Used to take. Which, oh, who, oh, by the way, in the previous game, those were like default heroes. Right, you so have they put them behind the paywall. The yeah. So on the Star Wars Battlefront um, Reddit yeah. subreddit, yeah. somebody posted, "Seriously, I paid eighty dollars to have Vader locked?" Question mark. And then EA Community Team comes in and goes, "The intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. As for cost, we selected initial values based upon data from the open beta and other adjustments made to milestone rewards before launch." Among other things, we're looking at average per player credit earn rates on a daily basis, and we've made constant adjustments to ensure that players have challenges that are compelling, rewarding, and of course, attainable via gameplay. We appreciate the candid feedback and the passion the community has put forth around the current topics here on Reddit, our forums, and across numerous social media outlets. Our team will continue to make changes and monitor community feedback and update everyone as soon and as often as we can. It is the number one most downvoted comment on Reddit ever at this point time right now on tuesday 10 9 p.m has negative 680,000 points <laughs> and that gets locked you can't you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't yeah, I, went, I went to downvote and i couldn't do it i was like damn it i can't be part of that 680,000 yeah. people <laughs> um so the, the community spoke which was awesome uh immediately people were out there attacking now that's the cool part there's a negative side to this which, which we'll get into here about the there's, there's a limit here, the community here. There is a limit, yeah. Sending death threats to people about this that worked on the game, like developers <laughs> of this game. And I'm not saying, and, and now I saw Matt, um, the guy from NPD, Matt Pis, Piscatella, is it Pis, Piscatella? Whatever. Piscatella, uh, <laughs> mentioned the fact that devs come up with these ideas as well. Uh, today on mm -hmm. Twitter he said that. So uh, I'm, I'm not saying they're completely innocent in the situation. However... You still don't send death threats to somebody about this. I mean, that's come on. It's it, that, that's, it, that's the, the, the end of the day. It's a video game. Yeah, it does not require someone's life to, but, to be had. So that's that's the negative aspect on this side of things. The good news here is that like, the community stepped forward and started attacking this, and it got everywhere. I mean, this got everywhere. It's in the news. I mean, it's everybody knows about this 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 crap. It's Star Wars. It's close to a movie release for them. Uh, I mean, it's I, gonna. It was like going to be a very big game for them the last one was it's still going to sell like game. crazy it will still yeah. sell like crazy um so i mean this bring i mean obviously ea responded later later and reduced the cost of these these uh, heroes down to fifteen thousand credits by 75 percent, um, which is so great i hope they stick with it and don't the thing that they didn't say back. though yes, in this statement is that they also reduced the rewards you get by 75 percent yeah. So to, scale, to, to keep it to scale, you keep know. it to scale. So basically, you'll get these guys quicker, but you won't get as much as quickly. So you're still getting it. Still take you just as long. Oh, so it's still gonna take forty hours to unlock Darth Vader. No, no, not to get unlock. If you unlock a character, that's different. I mean, you get the character, but the rewards, the other stuff, you're gonna get less of. You get seventy five percent less of that each time you you unlock. Oh, stuff. so out of the loot boxes, you get fewer rewards. Yeah, the loot think... boxes are shit. Like you get daily loot boxes in this game. <laughs> And I open them and I get seventy five credits out of a loot box. That's a loot box per day. You get you get without mm -hmm. buying them. You don't. I haven't earned one yet myself. Uh, but you can unlock credits with challenges, which I'm doing right now. Uh, I have five thousand credits so far, um, and I've probably played how many hours did I say last night? Three. I probably played four hours total. I think now. So, I think I'm running on pace actually. That, they did say it was what like eight hours to unlock after like. The main hero first. I'm right on pace for that. I think, right? Well, That's if it's seventy five percent reduced, it should take you ten. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm on pace though. I'm at five ish. I'm nearly fifteen thousand. So, you know, I'm, I I just started playing online. There's a lot of challenges to unlock. Which start playing online, so you'll get those and unlock that hero. That's going to happen. So. Uh, but those challenges go away, and that's the big thing. After that, it becomes a grind of playing. The other part they didn't mention, and this is what Tony mentioned today on, on Discord. There's a cap for the amount of credits you can earn in one day. Only for well, certain, certain modes. Certain modes. Only for one mode, which is like a AI okay. mode. And so, whatever. What do they care? Where you earn these credits and and how? Because you could play it on like dumb difficulty or exploit their AI and just do it over and over again, and then you'll never have to buy anything. 
you still have to spend the time. You still earn them at the same rate. Yeah, maybe cost you a little less time. Uh, the matches but you aren't can like ex you can minutes. exploit. They're trying to yeah, they're find trying to avoid people stuff with uh, AI. I think the problem here is that when you make a game and you artificially like cap things like this, it tells me two things. One, you're making it difficult for people to do something. So two, they have to find a way to circumvent that. Well, I mean. Th this thing though, it's like the same as like you only get like one challenge for, in Destiny per day. Like you don't get the extra bonus. Yeah, but I don't know. You can I don't, you can play Destiny. At, you, no, no, you can play Destiny any part that you want. The the add-on for that stuff is you know I mean like that's loot you can get you earn throughout the day, but that's different. That's completely different in this situation here. I see that as completely different. Why? There's a, some, a daily thing that you can earn just once a day. That's it. Sure, to add up to buy something that you want later, but no, no, he's talking so about he's talking about like to power your character up. Oh, it's no, like no. there's certain oh, things that you can only oh, do once a oh, day. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Or once a week. Okay. Yeah, I can you see know, that. There's um, challenges. So, uh, this has been obviously terrible news. Um, EA has gotten a lot of backlash for this. This is the worst company, one of the worst <laughs> companies in America. It really is. Um, they are. They really are. You can't argue this. And what's hilarious, though, is that just they are doing all data. this because they are making money. And, like, it's funny. They had, um, I, I listened to the Easy Allies podcast, and I think they do a great job. And they have a listener who's a lawyer. And so they ask this guy all these questions all the time. And they, they, he goes into, like, uh, like, the fiduciary duty of companies that they have that legally required to make as much money for the shareholders as possible. So when you're dealing with a publicly traded company, that's the, that is their end goal is to make as much money for the shareholders as possible. Yeah. And if their shareholders are happy, they're happy. So that's the problem here is they're just, they're, they're taking that to heart and they're just yeah. saying like anything we can do to make the shareholders happy. We don't care how it looks or what it matters to the consumer, the people buying the product, because you know what? We're going to slap a, a, a license on here that we know is going to sell right around the movie, and this thing is going to sell like like hotcakes, because people don't actually care. They, they see Star Wars, and they're going to actually buy this game, because they it doesn't matter. And then they go on and talk about, like, you put in Discord, like, how, how can we monetize everything we put out from here on out? Because we should have done that with a game that's, like, a top five game. Uh, it's four years old. Played. Yeah, so, like, that is their end goal right now. And it's working because people are still buying their games and they're still out there spending money in these games. So if you want things to change, you have to stop buying their games. That's all it takes. But this is why that I said, the only this is why I am surprised they actually addressed any of these issues at all. And they they actually... had to. They literally had to. No, we just talked about how they didn't have to. Yeah, I think this game that, was going to sell. Thing. Thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Really they didn't have to. In quotes. Oh. They didn't have to. But no, I don't they think that's what we're saying, Tony. They didn't have to. That's the idea. Like we're like if they're about like making this... money for the shareholders at all costs, they didn't have there to. There was so much negative press on this. The number the one is... most downrated comment in Reddit history. Here, here's in Reddit, Reddit that's, history. That's, that's the thing, like Disney Disney's not gonna be happy because that's gonna tarnish their IP for their movie coming up, and I would be very pissed if I was Disney seeing this negative aspect of things. And they still have control. Of their no news exactly. is bad news. <laughs> right, I guarantee you, there's there's some, some kind of contractual thing where if EA does something to tarnish the brand or the image, like they forfeit, you know, money or the licensing rights or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. I yeah. guarantee it. Yeah, there's I mean, no way that Disney does not how have. They're a so concerned about making sure their properties are in the right hands and stuff. Like they just they took them away. They closed down Disney Studios so they could make, they give these yeah. licenses to other people that make games for a living. Yep, but. What I'm, what I'm getting at, though, is like, yeah, if you guys, if the only way to make a difference is to not buy their games. That's the only way that it's going to matter. And if you look at, if you bought stock in EA when they were voted the worst company in America for the first time, that stock would be up 400% right now. Yep. So they're not, I mean, they're still like doing well. Like their stock is still up. because they still like, sell Madden every year, FIFA every year. Right, I mean, they're still profitable. Like, that's the sad thing. Right, yeah. and that is what's giving them the opportunity to make decisions like this. And so, like I said, like if you don't want like this, you have to stop buying their games. That's right. what, and that's then, the and only way they're going to listen. Right. And then just as an addition here, on uh, the EA Origins portal, they uh, actually like hid the refund button because so many people were uh, 
asking for a refund for the game. Yeah, I heard, I heard that that was never there to begin with or something like that. That's the article that came out, but I don't know if that's true. So yeah. um, all I know is, uh, like, the, I will say, I mean, DICE is the developer that's going to pay for this if it doesn't sell. Um, so, like, if that game doesn't sell, EA closes them down. You know what I mean? Like, that's how this DICE works. is going to be fine because they, they created the engine that runs every single EA game. Yeah, they, I know they did Frostbite, but... Um, yeah, you're right. It's, they have everything, and they, they're the ones that make the tools for it later, so they are well in, in, invested. But um, but if you're a developer, I mean, you have a sense of pride when you make something, and then you just see it get shit on like this, it, it's got to hurt. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. I, that's the thing. And it's not and, there, and the like is, you said, they're not at, like they're not blameless in this either. Like, no, they They come up with this stuff, too, and they program that in. I know, they, they come up with, like, a balance that probably... Maybe they're even told to like play to a certain amount of hours to like you know, like I'm have, sure they have guidelines. Work. I mean, yeah, he's telling them this is what we need to do: make as much money as possible. Here's like our ideas, and like give us yeah, your. No, this is this is how thing. much the balance of like you know. And like the, the thing is, it's really. not it's not the loot boxes. Like the whole thing about loot I'm boxes. Okay with loot boxes. Don't they actually, yeah, they addressed that earlier too. Which at it's, first that was way off. Too. Yeah, I mean, loot boxes in themselves are not a problem. I'm okay with loot boxes, actually. Progression systems that are being utilized to obtain said loot boxes. And, you know... It essentially, this is a pay-to-win, this system. It really is. But and that's they, what I'm not yeah. okay with. Some guy posted a video of, because... I forget if he, like, had a review copy or what, But basically, he somehow had, like, some of the most expensive star cards or whatever the hell they call them. And had, like, one of the air uh, spacecraft or something like that. And he was just mowing people down like literally just untouchable and it's just like oh well okay there you go this is what you're getting into so i don't know fuck yeah i'm just yeah i'm very this. disappointed this is like this has knocked down the excitement level for me on anthem and i was actually pretty excited for that that was gonna be my most anticipated game if it actually came out <laughs> next year but i think that was going to be for me i was psyched for it i really liked it i liked what i saw i liked the premise of it uh the style of it i just you know obviously we didn't see gameplay yet really of it because it was scripted but I really liked it. I, I mean, obviously, some of the scripted stuff I didn't like, but um, I was looking forward to that quite a bit. But not anymore. It has knocked it down for me big time. Uh, and that's a shame. It really is. So, I mean, I I don't want to support these practices. And I will tell you... Will I, you buy I, Anthem when it comes out, Jim? No, I will not right now. <laughs> I see. I, my idea is different. I, I'm going to get the Battlefront because... Wait, now? No, no for christmas <laughs> but still i'm gonna get it because it's a game i want to play i feel like they are they, they did address that then. i don't care i'm not i'm not gonna deprive myself of a game sat- i want to play to make some pseudo political statement about a company I, I love how you attack disney yearly yearly like i go to their consistently, movies consistently <laughs> but ea no nah, i gotta defend ea i'm not defending them i don't care i, I it's a game I want. They're making it. I don't care who's making it. I just, like, and I will tell you right now, I've gotten to play four hours of this game. And it's getting into what we've been up to. I can talk about this real quick. Is uh, And I really like this game. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. I've played online. Of course it is. The last one was. I liked the last one, too. Everyone yeah. complained about that, too. I played it what online against other people, it. which it's I don't EA, play. Everything they do is wrong. <clears throat> okay. No, the, the game is fun. This is wrong, Mike. There's... Th- no, I know, and they addressed it because everyone complained, which is fine. It's good, but I think it's, you Until know, they, they again. did what they needed to do. And when they do it again, people will complain again. All right, I, it's that's, not you're, my you're responsibility. Right. You're walking, no. you're walking a slippery slope. Not, like, I understand to what not you're buy things that I want because the company is doing things bad somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I don't care. It's not my responsibility. I don't need to deprive myself you of a game that I want to play. So if Nike, if Nike owned that. a sweatshop of five-year-old kids, they do. Their yeah, and everyone has Nike shit. No one. It's not their fault. It's Nike's fault. I couldn't do that. I'm, if I knew that one hundred percent, I would not buy. Their but shit. we're supposed to be a set that Disney bullied the LA Times. Yeah, because when you're looking at reviews, yes. <sighs> Can you name one reviewer from the L.A. Times? No, I don't care. I don't live in L.A. <laughs> but we're supposed to care about that. It's about this, precedent this there, not Mike. The same I think thing. that's the difference. So. Yeah, the, pr- the precedence is true. The precedence is when you can 
fully reviewers, then everything is different that's reviewed. This is about just a little bit of microtransactions. The just trying to fuck you. I mean, it's... It, it's. I mean, everybody's got their own opinions and stuff. And like for me, I think that um, I'd much rather I be a have shareholder than myself, a consumer. If I have the <laughs> game myself and I play it and I feel like, well, this is bullshit, that'll be different. But if I play it and it's fun still, like even with this, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is this is literally like super entitlement to be honest this is right, a Mike. game you're getting this is an entertainment medium no one is getting screwed there's no sweatshops here this is literally just like oh no it might not be equal they want you to pay for stuff okay it's bad that's what's going to happen in the industry in general anyway and Mike, it's like so you're saying that if they hadn't rehashed their fifteen thousand credits from 60 you would still buy it at sixty thousand credits per hero i would be pissed off but yeah i'd buy it and see how bad it really is yes it's a game I wanted. I like the last one. What can I say? Yeah. I don't blame you, Mike. I'm and just if it's bad, that. and if it's bad, and I get it, no, and it's, it's that bad, lot of, I'll talk about it's, it after. It's not a bad I'm game. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I am. It's going to sell really well. Like, and like I, I said, I would much rather be a shareholder than a consumer. Yeah, I, I played three missions of the campaign. The they're going to do missions, really well. And I really enjoyed the campaign they put in this game, which was not in the first game. I thought it was a lot of fun so far. These characters. Uh, now I'm doing the trial access, so I can only have 10 hours of play and only the first three campaigns missions, so I can't play the whole thing. But um, I have full I have full multiplayer access. So I played the whole campaign uh, that I had available to me, and I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, I thought the graphics are absolutely amazing. Uh, and I love Star Wars, so being in this universe on the opposite side is like the Empire and these big events, like Death Star blowing up and stuff like that. It's like really cool. Um and then you have the multiplayer where you're actually playing on like you're playing on the um like the death star in return of the jedi the death star 2 they called it in this and like you know we we lost the last mission and our death star blew up and we're done <laughs> we're all dead um so like that's that it, it was really cool and you have like these heroes coming around you hear saying to hear yoda in your head like in the sound system and like and he'll show up and start hacking the shit out of you when you on the empire side um but like and I do love... I actually really enjoyed playing as a Stormtrooper. I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I played as Rebel the one mission, and that was okay. Um, I really enjoyed playing as the Stormtrooper side. I like flying the vehicles in this game. They don't control fantastic, but it's, you know, kind of a mixed bag with that because you're playing airships and people. So, um, But I, I really enjoyed this game quite a bit. Um, and I... Dice just, makes good shooting games. I just... I know. I just... I, I can't buy this new. So... If you want to deprive yourself, for no, that, I won't that's... deprive myself, Mike. I'll just go buy it used. Yeah, all right. So... Maybe, maybe it'll be further fixed then too. But again, I don't feel like it needs to be the consumer's responsibility. Nobody's saying it's the consumer's responsibility. That's what we were saying. Oh, I was saying like, that. Don't buy it. But I said I was saying the only way people will ever make Stop. a change like this is yeah. to oh. speak with your wallet but with your wallet that's what i've been saying yeah. for years yeah i mean that's exactly i mean it's, it's, it's not a, yeah, it's there's not a certain untrue. extent of it though because is the game going to be completely unenjoyable because of this or not i'm not convinced it won't be because of it so it's still yeah. something i would want well, and, that's, and like i'm sure that I'm, like i said <laughs> it's going to sell fantastic star wars is coming out in the theaters it it's gonna now and now and now what i would love make a lot is of if money. everyone who buys it doesn't lay a finger on that you know pay for the loot box button that's the where you go is, with your wallet oh i can't <laughs> wait i can't wait to hear you bitch about other people paying to win mike i cannot wait to hear you bitching about other people using the pay to win option i anticipate the last time month. it was in the last game a little bit too uh, it's worse this time around. Um, maybe not anymore. We'll see. No, it's we'll see it's going to be worse for we'll you, see. Mike. I, I would it's bet worse it's going to be worse people. for you. For the people that aren't using that or are not buying it, it's going to be a much worse experience. You've not necessarily uphill, saying it's going to be a bad experience. And, really and, bad. And, and, I, and one thing I read is they'll actually, during the kill cams and whatnot, they'll show you what cards the person that killed you is using I know, to that, entice oh, you to get those good. out. No, I got, I got his loadout. Every time I got killed, Meg, I, the last mission I just played that's before how it was we started the last this podcast. Game too. Uh, by the way, Mike, I went 11, 11 and 16. Not bad. Killed death. So, not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad. For like, uh, I've played like four or five multiplayer games now. And um, I'm getting better at it. But 
like as they kill you and you're like what the fuck did this person shoot the you fuck with? Was that thing? Yeah. you see this like super gun thing with like these battle cars under, underneath it they show you everything about that you can skip it quickly though i just kept slamming on a sounds like activision's uh patent that they have on matchmaking where like let's put people with the people that ha- don't have the bought item with the people that do have the bought item that's, so that's that they going can to see happen. that's going to happen oh it, just like activision has um daily missions where it's like oh watch somebody else open a loot box <laughs> like wow jesus christ yeah so all right uh anything else to add to this topic guys we know we all kind of know where we stand fuck but... yeah yeah i agree yeah. i like this game though it's very good mike i, uh, and I i'm, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm I don't serving know my judgment you, but... to see how much it actually affects my enjoyment of the game we'll see yeah. yeah i mean you're gonna play a lot more than me so i would like to hear that now don't forget like we're both early on I, i'm early on here so i can talk about the fact that it's not affecting my gameplay um, but we'll see when you get really deep into it how much it really does. I really that I'm interested to hear. Corey, are you getting this? No, I, I wasn't planning on it. I wanted to like I wanted to get it eventually. I just yeah. don't like feel like I have time for it. I, I mean that's like, that's my Fair. thing. I don't I don't think I'm getting it anytime soon. I just, I do like this game quite a bit. I mean long, personally, so. I would I love to see. I would love to play the campaign because I'm trying to get as much like canon stuff as possible, and I think. For me, the Empire is always much more exciting, and I'm much more uh, like interested in the Empire side of things mm-hmm. than the Rebel side of things. So I, I'm super excited for that. And there's an audiobook of this character out already, which is pretty cool. So um, I might just get that instead. But uh, as far as gameplay wise and like what you're getting out of it, I'd I'd have to play Destiny, honestly. Okay. Yep. All right, let's get into what we've been up to. I've already talked about. It. I played Battlefront um, two. Oh, just so, little... just real quick, just uh, the uh, the voice actor strike is officially over. Oh, yeah, officially, yeah, yeah. officially, officially, officially. officially. They, they, the deal yeah. is signed. It's done. It's done. Uh, Finally, yeah. well, we, they didn't even know existed basically because nobody. There's the really... longest strike for uh, actors uh, yeah. ever so in over, history. It's a year long. Yeah, it was a year long. Pretty um, crazy. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, all right. What have we been up to, Jim? What I've been you up said... to? I've, adding on, I've been playing a lot of Mario. I uh, really like that game quite a bit. Great platformer. Um, I like game the, of the fact year that... contender now. Yeah, Officially I like, nominated. I like the way it's set up though. Like, I think it's like. Oh, we should have uh, talked about that because we should. Oh, the yeah. game awards. Yeah. yeah, talk about it real quick. Just the just okay. the just the um, game of the year nominees because I mean, there's a lot of categories. I think. Um, but the game of the year nominees would be Horizon, Persona Five, PUBG. Uh, Battle, player unknowns battlegrounds if you didn't know mm-hmm. what that meant zelda breath of the wild and mario odyssey now I, I i could see what because we talked about it on discord a little bit i know nick um voiced his opinion i can't see PUBG winning um yeah. in any just just based on the fact that it's pc only it's very it's very it's much rough. geared towards mature audience and it is hugely popular in the streamer like like um community but as far as like game of the year i i just don't see it having the same it's gonna be um is it actually a good game (laughs) zelda or pubg 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 is a great streaming game it's a great game i think it's it's just good time it's like i mean for me it's like the game i was like i always wanted that they never really thought it was going to come out because like one of my favorite books and movies all the time (laughs) so it's like this is perfect but um as far as you know, what it offers, anything else. It just doesn't offer anything else, really, other than just, like, a quick, fun time where, yeah, that could yeah. be Game of the Year, but there's no substance there, really. Mm, where, like, right. you it's... have games like Horizon and uh, Zelda and Mario where, it, like, there's so much more going on than just a quick, you know... There, there's some prestige involved and, and pride in, in terms of, like, hey, this this is a... Uh, I'll use, you know, art form or whatever like mm. that, where it's, like, you know... Sure, player known. You could argue there has. It's hasn't not been. even. It's a prop. Out. Either. It's not officially out. Not that I think that particularly matters. But the thing is, like, here's like the, the thing that makes PUBG stand out right now is it's a new thing. It's a new genre or subgenre, whatever the hell you want to call it. But here's the thing: as we've already discussed many times, like everybody is out for blood. Everybody is rushing to put a battle royale mode in their game. Fortnite has done it. There's there's do- like I think a dozen clones out in China already, even on mobile. Fucking mobile has player unknown like copycats and stuff like that. So the thing is, it makes it less special every time one of those things comes out, and it just takes one one of those other games to be bigger and better or or just do it better. Um, in fact, I could see 
probably not next year's version, but the year after that, I guarantee you're going to see Call of Duty have a mode with player on it, like a battle like hundred man mode or something. Where right, it's, exactly. It's in the battle, like the arena battle. Yeah, hundred man, hundred man Call of Duty battle royale mode. I guarantee it. Because, and that's the thing. Yeah, as soon as a game is, like yeah, yeah, as, as soon as a game like that comes out, I mean, why would you play Player Unknown if that's like the thing that sets it apart? I mean, you know, that, and that's my fear of the game is that it needs to stay ahead of the pack um, because you could see now that. Uh, all these all these clones and competitors are already reaching for blood. I mean, the the last comparison I can make is Minecraft. That game was a slow burn, and then all of a sudden it just kind of like blew up, and everybody was caught with their pants down. And then you see everybody else cloning that game, but they're not doing that with Player Unknown. It's like that, literally overnight. Mm-hmm. So because again, yeah. like it's not. I mean, it's pretty much a game mode. Like yeah, it, it, right. That's exactly. That's it's a it's a sub mode of a sub genre or whatever you call it. <laughs> So like Battlefront, I, I would I could see a, a hundred man mode in, in Battlefront. Absolutely, last it's man really, standing, hundred man. I mean, yeah, it's really cool to be in a forty man fight too. That's pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, but it's, I mean, so game of the year, there's no way. Um, no, but I, I like I said in Discord, I think it's going to be Zelda. Me too. Uh, yeah. Just It'll, the 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 fact that you know it changed the way like people saw Zelda and the fact that it was on Switch as well really helped obviously switch it sold more copies than the switch even had available it was i mean this there's nothing like it at the it's, time it's definitely it's definitely mvp without a doubt you can give it the mvp mm-hmm. status uh of gaming because it's sold yeah. the switch and i i mean obviously i would vote for horizon because i just never I'm, got I'm very, to zelda very myself torn between but... those two um and mario as well right now so i gotta finish mario before i make any final mm-hmm. judgments but i'm very torn between those the, the whole three of them but yeah um like for me, I mean, um, Zelda was fantastic, but I did like a lot of the older style of Zelda stuff too, and I didn't feel there was enough of that in the game. That's my own, that's my gripe with it. Like the dungeons weren't great, and I would have liked to have had better dungeons. I love that about the Zelda games, the dungeons. So you think it's gonna be Zelda over Mario? Because I mean, I really game think it comes year? down to Zelda or Mario. The game of the year, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Zelda. It's Zelda. It, it, okay. it's so I mean, many people Mario's got the blown name. away. So. But yeah, but but everybody talking about Mario saying it's. It's great. It's fantastic. Which it is. Ju- it's, it's exactly six what out they of want. five. Yeah. Which it's one's more, meta score is higher? It's just they're equal. Mario. They're equal. equal? Yeah. They're I thought Mario's was a uh, edged out a, a little bit. No, it came down to ninety-seven. Hmm. So, anyways, GTA four is it still higher. <laughs> what was that? Isn't Which GTA four like ninety-eight? Uh, it might be. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. It's like the shitty one. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. All right. But they're all shitty, so. Yeah, they are. All right. Uh, getting into what I'm up GTA. to. Um, I got my Xbox X, so I can Xbox One X, so I can say um, my system didn't break. <laughs> uh, there were some issues, I guess, in the beginning. So I'm like, well, let's see what I'm going to get because I always get bad electronics. Knock on wood. Um, so my system's been running fine. Uh, and I've played battlefront on it uh mostly so i haven't really used that it enhanced in an hdr yet. and 4k yeah i mean hdr is great i love that um factor i mean the 4k stuff i can't tell you what the game looks like normally so i you know it's tough to but hdr you can notice like the the, the laser beams and stuff and oh man the explosions are so good um so uh loving that it's great um but that's pretty much all i've been up to really so that and mario battlefront mm-hmm. mario so um cory uh, I got Lost Legacy, so oh, I started well, playing that. I did order that. It's it's coming. It's coming in because I got it for fifteen bucks. Oh, nice. So I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah, might as well. Yeah. Uh, it's um, yeah, it's, it's uh, more Uncharted, obviously, different characters. I'm but surprised I like you didn't that. have it already, to be honest. Like, I no, I know. wanted to wait till it was twenty dollars. If it was gonna be, t- I was waiting. If it was hitting twenty dollars, I'd get it. Forty dollars is a little steep for me. I felt oh. like I didn't need that for forty. Um, but twenty seemed like a good deal. So. And obviously with Game of Call of Lock, you get it cheaper. So Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, same mechanics as 4. Uh, uh, but I just love the game play. Like, it's just a good time to be in there. Like, the puzzles, the exploration. Uh, and it's funny because, like, the shooting part is the worst part of these games. Like, I could care less about that. But uh, they do a good job with the, the partner. And I could see they, they really double down on the partner aspect of this game where like in four you had you know somebody with you almost all the time they really mm-hmm. doubled down on that here adding like combos that work together with your partner 
That's and things cool. like that. So, oh, cool. uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a fun time, and I definitely recommend it for Uncharted fans and I fans actually, of the genre. I actually do have that game. I haven't played it yet, though. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, see, it's and it's just quick. I mean, I think uh, it's only maybe got, you, 10, you're talking about, you're eight, talking eight about Uncharted hours. Four, though. No, no, no. I mean, Unlost Legacy. Legacy. Oh, I got, Lost Legacy. Okay. I got, I got the that. season pass. Thing, right? I'm good. No, yeah. no, no. Someone gave it to me for oh. something. Was that my birthday? I guess so. Yeah, huh. that's a few months back. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, so it's definitely play? it's definitely a good good time, and then the usual <clears> stuff, you know, okay. the Destiny here. And there. Yeah, I'm. Um, I also, by the way, for those wondering, I have ordered uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, so that'll be in. Oh, that is at my parents. I'm sure right now. Let's go up and pick that up. Go well, with your wallet, Jim. I waited. I got it. I got it used. I did. Oh, you got I, it used. I got it used. There you go, this... Jim. Good on you. Good on you. Woo! Dodge that Red one. Box or uh, GameStop? No, I got it from I got it from GameStop because they had this pro oh. day, pro days. And they dropped the game down to like thirty four ninety nine, and then I got ten percent off, and then I found a CAG coupon that gave me lower. Uh, so I got it for like twenty eight dollars. It turned out to be so. That's not bad. It, that's after tax, so yeah. Okay. So yeah, I did already. But anyways, Tony, Tony, what have you been up to? Oh, let's see. I put Mario on hold real quick just because like I beat it, um, and like I was, I spent a lot of time just collecting power moons. Um, the post game content is really cool. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but like I know I, I want to see it. That's what I want to get to. I, I'm like, trying. Like I think about the game a lot because it just um, you know obviously has a higher re score and everything like that, but um, it, it really is uh, a title that kind of not doesn't force you, but it entices you to just like beat the beat the game and i say beat with quotation marks because uh like most mario game modern mario games like yeah you can beat the game by only getting x amount of percentage or stages completed or whatever but if you want to truly get the full experience you do the optional content so the game uh does a much better job than any of the previous mario games in actually kind of incorporating a post credit you know reason for you to be doing these things rather than just like oh i'll jump back into this painting and get these stars i missed um, there's actually some kind of story things that tie in and, and whatnot, but um, the worlds are cool. Uh, definitely yeah. recommend it. If you're a longtime Mario fan, it's definitely worth uh, playing. And I also actually got ruined by this one surprise, uh, by the game itself, actually. And, and in retrospect, I kind of wish I didn't. Um, I'm just going to be super vague on this for now. Uh, probably when we do our of the year or whatever, um, I'll come back to it because I think some time has passed, but it's still pretty early. Other than that, um, I got Rocket League on Switch uh, okay. today because that came out. And that's one of those games that um, I, I really appreciate, but it's when I'm home and on my PlayStation, it just it, it doesn't fall very high on the list of like, oh, what game should I be playing on my TV right now? It's like, if it's competitive, I want to play Overwatch. If it's something single player, I'm not going to play Rocket League and whatnot. So. Mm-hmm. Switch just it's one of those things where like I could pop it out, start a season, and just like play a mode or two. Um, it runs pretty well. It's 60 FPS ish. I haven't noticed any drops myself, but some people are reporting that they have seen some hiccups, which I'm not going to be surprised. It's I think it runs on Unreal Engine 3, which technically is not supported by the Switch. They use Unreal 4. Um, it doesn't look as pretty. Uh, it doesn't have all the the bells and whistles that the PlayStation 4, Xbox, or PC versions have, but it's nothing like too terrible, Jim. I think you might be like a little graphics horish about the, oh, there's no, there's not enough shaders on the car or something stupid yeah. like that. I want to see but, better um, fireworks. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the core concept, the the gameplay is there. Um, interestingly enough, I think cross platform is already live because I was playing with people that were way high ranked. I'm just like, wait a second, this game literally came out today. How are you fucking ranked this high already? Because you could see, like, oh, this person scored and they have, like, a tag or a title or whatever. I'm like, this game just came out. There's no way you have this t- title already. There's no absolute way. Um, and uh, I-, I could already, like, see myself. Because I-, I wasn't, like, the biggest uh, online competitor in the game. But I could already see myself getting a little upset. Because I think you mentioned it, Mike, where it's, like, whoever's in the back just, like, runs off. You're like, dude, what are you doing? Like, we need to go. <laughs> Uh, it, you Sorry. people need your back. Uh, it's so annoying. Start it's... back, stay back. I have that like programmed in, <laughs> into there. So like that <laughs> automatic quick text. Start back, stay back. <laughs> Pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true though. It's so true because like there's so many times where like I just like look back and like there's no goal. I'm like, God. 
come on, guys. Like, come on. Um, I made some epic plays today, but like, also, like, uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, like, the Switch audience, but, like, there's a lot of rage quitters now. Like, there's one game I literally went through, like, four teammates because people would pop in, like, uh, some uh, the opponent would score a goal, and they'd just quit. And somebody else joined, and then another goal, you know. Because it seems like by the time they get into the game, like, it's like they're halfway through, like, scoring anyway. So this is like... You should uh, play on rank. That's, like, all that does is everyone has to vote to forfeit that way. Or if they leave, they get, like, booted and, like, they have a long period before they can, like, return. And if they leave, you can leave, too, then uh, without uh, penalty. So that's the advantage of playing on ranked. I got you. It, what, I forget, what's the level system for? Like, does that do anything other than... You get little plaques and stuff you can put by your name. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't really care about that. <laughs> Maybe um, it's also for matchmaking too a little yeah. bit. It's like, hey, you've yeah, been playing a whole so. while. Like maybe. Are there a yeah, lot of other cars pros. available on the PS4 version? Because they have some on the eShop. I want to say it's probably a dozen cars, but I figured just they would have had a lot more by there's now. There's a I think there's a lot. The problem is I've been sticking to the DeLorean for like the last year or yeah. two, so I haven't yeah. even bothered with that stuff too much. But I think there's kind of a lot, but a lot of it is optional, like you want to buy something. <laughs> so Yeah. None, um, of it, none of it matters at all. None of, yeah, yeah none of it matters, but I was just like, <laughs> oh, what do they got there? And I saw the DeLorean. I was like, oh, I might get that. And then I saw the Batmobile, but it was the Batmobile from BVS. I was like, can't have that. <laughs> um, but, like, the thing is, like, I'm surprised they, they're not doing more of that. Because I think I had a Hot Wheels car, too, but I'm just like... There's Fast could, and Furious ones, yeah, too. Yeah, Fast and Furious. You could do so much with that. Like, why is there not, like, an Optimus Prime or a Bumblebee, like, freaking uh, thing? <laughs> why is it, like... Like going to turtles, like why isn't the teenage mutant Ninja turtle van, turtle van a car? Yeah. Right, like there's so much they could be doing, and I feel like they're just like leaving money on the table. This is like, oh, yeah, know, it is a uh, indie developer. They I don't know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Their contacts qu- aren't quite as huge as like yeah. someone like yeah. WB who could get the turtles out of nowhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> now though, they're pretty well known now. Yeah, now they are, but yeah, yeah, it, it's right. weird that I'm actually advocating for a indie to monetize the game more given <laughs> yeah yeah topic but i feel their price is fair i think it's like two bucks per car or something like that which is yeah, you know. it's not too crazy and yeah I and again say, the biggest thing here is it doesn't matter it's right it doesn't cosmetic. matter it's cosmetic 100 percent cosmetic it's not like you get a, a car skin and it makes you better or you mm-hmm. know whatever it doesn't give you an advent advantage in, in gameplay at all but all right. yeah that's pretty much it mike Okay. Well, we were actually talking about this in the game of the year discussion, but Frozen Wilds oh, is nice. out for yes. uh, oh, yeah. Horizon. Out. So once I realized, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna play this. <laughs> so <laughs> I popped it back in. It took forever to download, but whatever. I got that in That's there. That's the reason I didn't play it. So I was like, oh, I'll just play Lost Legacy instead. But um, it uh, first of all, before I even got to the area where the DLC is, I realized I wait. I spent like an hour and a half just like reacclimating myself to this game yeah and yeah, I, realize I, I oh well i'm like i'm like oh crap i suck at this again <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're going first to a all, high level area yeah i actually at first i didn't wear the cheating armor i wanted it to be stealthy and stuff but <laughs> in well in i this, heard i heard the cheating armor is not as good the cheating actually. armor got nerfed i forgot that it got nerfed it got nerfed a while ago and in the new area you can't um, at least initially, you can't override anything. So you can't just sort of, you know, stealthily like override one and have it fight everything else. So yeah, I switched to the cheating armor <laughs> after a while. I'm like, all right, I give up. This is actually because I died. I'm like, I'm dying in this mm-hmm. game. So I can't die. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm not supposed to you? die. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm not supposed to die. <laughs> It was pretty rough, and I mean, like, I had a, I realized I ended where I was at with low on some resources, too. I didn't have any blaze, which is everywhere. I'm like, how do I not have this? So I actually farmed a little bit, which is interesting, which was fun, though. It was a good way to get back into it before I went to this high-level area. So once I'm actually in the area, there is is some new story beats, new cutscenes, everything. Um, I do wish, I really do wish it was actual post-game instead of, like, yeah. before I, the I finale. I yeah, I heard about that, and I was like, oh, I was like, ugh. It's, because it's, it's just like, everyone who's playing this has beat the game already. There's no yeah. way that they haven't, like, done that, like, in a year, I don't know, half a year or so yeah. since the game yeah. came out. So it feels a little weird to be, like, her and pretending like you don't know the finale's, like, answers, even though 
you do know a lot of the answers of the world before that anyway, but you don't know how much you're supposed to know at this point. So wait, what's, the, what's the premise of the DLC then, like the content? Um, the premise is you just hear about this new area pretty much, and you're like, and oh. you're like, all right, I'm going to go. There or what? There's a There's, story once yeah. once you get into it, but you don't. Aloy doesn't. Aloy doesn't really have any real reason to go there other than curiosity at first. But uh, once you're in there, there's something you want to follow up on a little bit, and hopefully you get. Um, it seems to be teasing to me that you'll get a little more um, answers about a certain mysterious character. Okay. So that we um, met in the main game, or a new that, character? Yes, that we met in the main okay. game. Um, did um, did, I mean, animation-wise, they apparently did. You notice anything different? No, I didn't have the problem that you had. <laughs> no, I mean they apparently no. didn't like change the whole like animation of the game. Like they fixed it up ma- massively with this uh, DLC. I heard. Like, um, that's a free. I think that's a free patch. I honestly yeah. don't remember mm-hmm. <laughs> it, how it used to be. I do th- remember that some of the traversal stuff was a little choppy in the past, and there's a lot of that here. Um, and it didn't seem bad, so maybe that's different. I know that the snow is like Uncharted 2. Like you actually walk through it and it sees your footprints and stuff. I don't know if that was in it originally. It's been a while since I've played this game, of course. But um, it looks great. And uh, I forgot, like, I did forget a little bit, like, how addictive the world is there. So um, I just yeah. wish the story was actually post game because yeah. that would be more interesting well, I agree to me. On that. I agree on but um, and this is the only DSL they're doing for the game, right? Like, it's got to be. It took them so long, and it's apparently 14, 15 hours. It's like yeah. almost as long as the real game, which makes it a pretty good value because I with PS Plus, it was only like fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. So um, I'm definitely liking it. I I'm curious to see where the main story goes. There's side quests too, and like there's a, apparently another hunter's lounge. Um, so there's a lot in yeah. this. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back to it probably. Yeah, hearing this. that it's not post game though, I I might just watch a let's play of it or something like that because I I mean I don't own the game anymore and I I don't know going back to it now. It would be tough to go back and remember how to play it for me. Like yeah. uh, I mean that's... again, like I did, I took like an hour and a half sort of learning how to mm-hmm. do stuff in a game again, but uh, it was because fun. I never even got the cheating armor just because yeah, like you guys either. all told me not to do it. I was you like, all right, I won't do it. I well, now it's it. not the same. Like they said, like you actually. Um, it's better to try to mix, like, mix and match according to what you're fighting now. Yeah, that's sort of what I've been doing too, which is, I guess, the purpose of all the different armor and the right, mods exactly. and stuff. So wait, the armor, like, it just like would make you invulnerable to like a hit or something, right? Was for it, a, for a few hits, actually, and oh, then it would oh start. So then it would start flashing. It basically gave a whole like extra bar of life. It's also it also looks fucking sweet. Too. It does it. Pretty cool. It's awesome looking. Uh, yeah. Because uh, it's like her regular outfit, but then it's just like all these like hexes. Are they hexes? Are they like little things? They're like awesome. little things that pretty much make a force field that like yeah, constantly like, like, are like it's like, like a flashing electric thing that comes and goes all over. Yeah. It's, it's cool. Pretty, it looks cool though. Yeah. I still have to say it's <clears> funny <throat> how her character just has a modern sensibility for no good reason and everything that uh, that is like that. That was, <laughs> to me was like the most. <laughs> Well, because she's had the earpiece in her ear since she was, like, eight years old, and she's got the history of humankind. That's, she didn't get that from that, though. No, but but not even that. It was just, like, oh, man. her like, attitude. Way she, right, her, her sarcasm. Attitude. Her sass. Yeah. Like, no, like, she was way just, like, that's a modern 21st, gir- like, girl sass meter right yeah. there. Like, okay, we all know somebody like that. It's, like, <laughs> it's really strange to have, like, a post uh whatever, you know, apocalyptic yeah. type. Thing where it's like she just sass him. It's like, oh, okay. She's just like a mom, I guess. Yeah, it's. I mean, it wasn't like a big thing. It's just like once you yeah, said it, Mike, and I started funny. noticing it. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, this is weird. Like, like why do you know? Like, oh look, a power cell. Why do you know what a power cell is? Because <laughs> yeah. she had the earpiece to tell her. I, I, uh, I understand that, but it's still like. <laughs> I know everything that a power cell does. She also like scoffs at like these other tribes and how like you know tribal they are in a certain way girl like you grew up like in a tribe (laughs) like what happened yeah Yeah. right like i have no problem like with the ear telling her like obviously the computer stuff but like the social interactions which she would not have really learned from like the earpiece that's again it's it's such a minor criticism it's just kind of like it's like just being her dna who knows could be (laughs) yeah could be 
But uh, I'm definitely enjoying it, and um, if you like the game, I would recommend giving this a try. Although I'm very early in it still, so we'll see how it goes. Just don't expect the story to be as like groundbreaking, because yeah. <laughs> I I don't think it can be. Hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. I think that's going to wrap up the uh, GameCast. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for viewing. Write us podcast at allgeek.net. Follow us on Twitter, All You Can Geek. Like us on Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tune in next week to the movie cast, Justice League coming up. GameCast as well. We'll have more Battlefront impressions. I have some more hours left on that EA Access I can play. So I'll have some more of that. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning. Thanks for watching. And see you next week. <laughs>